If you struggled with creating floating stairs in Revit with the custom profiles and if you may wonder how you can do that, you're at the right place and in this tutorial I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step process of how you can model it in Revit. And just before I move to that topic, I would like to invite you to our free training, we have over 4 hours of material and you can find the access link in the video description. The first thing I'm going to do in Revit will be to create the stairs. So this is metric multidiscipline template and I will be using this stair metal stairs. So I will just make one from the first to the second level. I will just use the default settings and then we'll create a 3D view. So there I will just turn off annotation categories. Then we can just delete the railing and I'm going to make a new type of these stairs. So I will go to duplicate and we'll create a new type. So now for a new type, what I'm gonna do will be to disable supports. So we have no supports and you see how this look like. And now comes very important part and that's how we can create this treat here. So 2D profiles in Revit are very powerful thing and it's very good to understand them because you can really discover a completely new opportunities and possibilities in Revit. So in this case go to file and you can you can go in this case to this stair nosing. So it doesn't matter because it's nosing. I just would like to show you one thing to understand how uh, how the reference planes here in a profile fam families works. So if I open stair nosing you will see that we have marked tweet surface and then the riser face. You can skip this one. So this means that our reference planes stands like this. So this is tweet surface and this is the riser face. And let's say that I would like to make this to be up to here, maybe 260. And then we can make this to be, let's say 60 millimeters. So what I have to do is to draw the line, so I will make it 260, I will make the thickness of 20 and then 240. So here we said that it's going to be 60 for example and now what we can do, go here, so it doesn't matter as I said because we go to the riser, uh, we can just go here and we can pick the stair treat. And now it's important you can save this, it's quite important, in this case I'm not gonna do that, so just uh, remember this name, it's a family one. Load this into the project, select our stairs and then go to the edit type. Then here for the treat profile pick this one. And you see how it looks like, but what we have to do is to fix the riser so now I can again go to the family so in this case I'm just going to use this metric profile it really doesn't matter if you take any of these because you can change it and uh, look at the family one so what I have to do now I have to create our profile here stands like this. So I will, I know that this goes 260, then it goes 20 here. So what I can do, I can just make this to be, let's say 300. I can go for 20 here. And then let's say 75, 10, And I will just mirror this one. Let's trim this. And here for profile usage, I will put riser. This is family two. It's quite important to know the name or to save it. Load this into the project. Select our stairs and then go to the run type. So here for a riser profile, you need to pick this family too. So here it comes, you see how it looks like. And now what's very important to know is that if you select the stairs and if you go to the edit type and then if you go to the run type, 
you will be able to change the materials for the thread and for the riser so if you select the thread and you go let's say pick this soft lumber and you go ok and you hit apply and if you go here to the textures you will see the difference and by the way let's say that we would like to refine something here if you just go to the thread profile and then let's say we would like this to be 65 and then let's say that we go here to to the riser to the riser and let's say we would like this to be 80 and we can also take a line tool for example and by the way we can do this as well so i can make it maybe to look like this and we can just take fill it so now what i can do i can just select this and then i can mirror it trim this part and maybe let's say we would like to increase this to, to 10 this one as well and now if i just load this back and if i load this one as well because we made a change you see how it reflects so uh, it's a really really useful thing and uh, i really hope that you're going to find this uh, to find this helpful by the way if you would like to understand more about the 2d profiles and to know how you can create a ceiling shadow gap and how you can manipulate with it in your projects just take a look at this video